Module 4.2, Getting Link Prospects to Perceive You as an Authority. In this uh, short video, we're going to talk about establishing yourself as a teacher. Why do you need to establish yourself as a teacher? Well, one of the best ways I know to establish yourself as an authority is to uh, play the role of a teacher. Teachers are authorities. They were our teachers in school while we went to school, and we were trained then to, to listen to teachers, to respect teachers, and because they were our authority. So if you want your golden prospect or your other link prospects to view you as an authority, you can either become a dictator, take over a third world, take over the free world, or you could uh, buy your own private island and become an authority on that island, and or uh, you can establish yourself as a teacher. Because like I said, in, in, to, in this today's day and age online, if you're a vendor, people are going to ignore you. But if you're a teacher, people will listen to you. So that's that's a, a really big element of getting others to perceive you as an authority is to actually play the role of a teacher because you really don't have any other options than to play the role of a teacher to get others to, uh, to take you seriously as an authority. Now, what are some of the ways that you can establish yourself as a teacher? Well, it's, it's simple. You could write a book. And, and that, that almost immediately establishes your authority on your website. Like if we go to my website, every page on my site has this book, has my book. And it's, uh, well, let me move it over. And then what you do is you write a book, you get some artwork, you put it uh, on your site. And, but just being an author of a book, even if it's a 200-page book, even if it's a 100-page book, write a book. Even if nobody ever reads your book, by advertising your by book on your website, it shows that, hey, you're, you're a teacher. And that's something that's important. Well, I guess it depends on what type of book you write, right? But for the most part, if you write a book about anything in your industry, your prospects and your visitors too will start view, viewing you as a teacher. And that's a good thing because we our brains get lambasted basted lambasted i always love these words that that get me into trouble in these these calls recordings but what happens is we're, we're there's a blitzkrieg every day of ads just slamming our brains and what happens to survive this blitzkrieg this assault on our brain what we do is we filter out anything that's spammy we filter out anything that's that's like a pitch we're not interested in pitches unless we're interested, unless we're looking for solutions. And, and most, most of the ads come across to, that, that are shot at our brains every day are really playing the role of an unwelcome pest. It's not anything we're interested in. And because it's not what we're interested in, we, 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 we just ignore it. We filter it out. We do that for self-preservation. There's just so many advertisements that the, 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 we, we get hit with every day. So, to establish yourself as a, an authority, you have to first show that you're not just a vendor. Because vendors don't really have the authority, unless they have a huge following. The fact that you sell sunglasses is great, but that doesn't instill authority. If you sold a million sunglasses last year, and you're sharing how you did it, well, that makes you an authority. And, that, and so... So even if you have an e-commerce site, you can write a book. You can establish the fact that you're a teacher. You can. In fact, I recommend that you do. Because even if you, you don't make any sales with the book, what happens when prospects hit your site and they see your book or they see that you've written a book, it really, really builds your, your status up as a teacher, which also builds your status up as an authority authorities link to other authorities they rarely link to non-authorities so you don't have to have a million visitors on your website to get taken to get others to take you as an authority so that's that's good news and uh so so establish yourself as a teacher first by writing a book even if it's a sh even even if it's a short book a kindle book it doesn't matter just write a book uh another thing you can do is uh what else can you do to establish yourself as a teacher. 
well, you want to be a teacher, not a preacher. And uh, because uh, most people will tune you out. And if people tune you out, you're not going to have a very, you're not going to win as many people over. And uh, you're going to have a harder time selling your services. So, so to establish yourself as a teacher, teach, don't preach. And there's a difference between the two. And also, uh, don't brag. Bragging teachers don't brag for the most part. Some teachers did. If you think back in school, there was a lot of braggarts. But don't do it. Uh, it, it. It really hurts your status as a teacher when you brag because now you're starting to look like a show off vendor. Show off vendors do not have authority anywhere other than in, in their own mind. So so don't play the expert. <laughs> play the teacher. As a teacher, you will become an authority, and a lot of people try to play the role of the, as a play the role of a know-it-all. Oh yes, I know this, I know that. Yes, I know this. Even if they don't, they fake it until they make it. Is what you hear people say a lot. But the, the problem with that, know-it-alls aren't authorities. <laughs> know-it-alls are not teachers, certainly, and so they're not going to get the status of uh, an authority as they reach out for links. No one will mistake them as an authority. So don't brag and don't embellish either. Don't embellish. There's no need to embellish as you teach. My, you didn't care if your kindergarten teacher uh, had four acres of land or 4,000 acres of land to live on or where, whatever. Whatever embellishment that your teachers could have told you while you are growing up, it wouldn't have made you like them anymore. And... And that's and 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 you might have they might have got it past you because kids well kids are stupid right <laughs> and uh, but adults usually aren't so embellishing just makes you look like a braggart and braggarts usually aren't teachers and teachers aren't authorities so don't brag don't embellish teach and it's and anybody could teach you could have zero visitors on your website and just brand new to your industry you could still teach. Go study books. You've been reading your Golden Prospect books. You probably learned a lot more about your industry if you if you do all your homework, and you will be able to uh, to teach something. Maybe it's uh, uh, maybe it's just a small element of your industry, but there's something you know about your industry that you can teach. That's where you start. And if there's somebody that has a problem, you just start solving people's problems with your content and that's and, and that's a way to be a teacher and to get your golden prospect to perceive you as an authority. Another thing that you need to do is post regularly to your blog if if that's if that's where you're doing your teaching. Because a teacher has to have a classroom has to have a teacher in it. If you if you only post once a month, that's like having a classroom with the teacher going to class and the teacher only shows up once a month. What's going to happen? Those students are hungry. They have they have things th that they're trying to fix and make better in their lives, and they don't have time to wait for you to come back. So they go find a teacher who is in class, because why they have they're not learning because they want to learn. They're learning because they have to learn. And that's the difference usually between adults and kids as they're learning something new or if they're learning something about their business. All right, so another thing you can do is to admit your mistakes. Don't act like the know-it-all. When you, when you admit your mistakes, a couple things happen. Uh, first of all, teachers do not have to be perfect to be perceived as an authority. All teachers have to do is teach. They don't have to, to be perfect. And one of the best ways I know to... Uh, to, uh, to uh, make the rest of your pitch believable, rest of uh, your 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 offer believable, is to admit some mistakes you've made. Because people that are trying to play the role of the expert, the know-it-all, won't admit their mistakes. They won't show their warts. They won't do it because they feel it will hurt their chances of making a sale. But teachers don't care. They're just wanting to teach. So what's the biggest way to become an authority in your industry? Become a teacher in your industry and it's not hard to teach so uh that's uh that's module 4.2 i'll see you in module 4.3 where we're going to talk about how to get your website in order and what you need to do with your website before you reach out to your golden prospect you're so close to reaching out now so we're there so uh see you next video and let's just keep chugging right along